walked at Appleton Farm that I really grew to know you. Hand in hand, not yet laughing together, my cast removed, me walking on the same wobbly legs as the three calves standing awkwardly within the half herd fenced in next to us along the dirt path we chose to walk to mend the lover's quarrel. On one side, blankets woven with greenest grass, but oh, on the other, a hundred cows we counted, chewing, roaming, staring wide-eyed and being so very cow in the sun-dappled spring, mist-sprinkled sp mist spring day. You smiled so easily just to see them all together like that. And you threw back your head in spontaneous delight when fifty heads turned in comic book unison to gaze at us as we continued on across fresh rivulets, out beyond freshly manured fields, together noting the newly turned earth looked darker and richer than it had any right to be in evil, <coughs> and different from the deep darkness of contentiousness. You pointed out every good fortune, every single one, the vast open space, the sun beginning to shine, the sheer enormity of the ancient white bull, a ring in its nose, for goodness sake, a real brass ring, the almost cobalt sky, my pretty smile, the hundreds of happy times here on Sundays with your children, the obedient herd of cow after cow after cow heading back to the barn, us laughing at their impressive udders swaying almost obscenely beneath them. Little ponies couldn't have galloped better. But when the train came flashing through the scene, just as you predicted, it was more than good fortune. It was a storybook frame that stopped time. And I instantly knew the kind of father you were to your daughters, the kind of son you are to your father, and the kind of man you are to me. And we kissed, and we kissed, until those cows came all the way home, every last one, into the barn at Appleton Farm. Mm -hmm. You're doing just fine. <laughs> At least you look like your profile picture. So often they say they like long walks on the beach, but when you see them in person, you know they never spend much time outside. <laughs> oh, you look even cuter than your profile picture. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so superficial. Uh, why don't you tell me something about yourself, Sparky? Not much to tell, sad to say. Born in a puppy mill. Separated from my family at a young age. My previous humans kept me chained in the backyard a lot of the time. I guess I was a bad dog before I learned to be housebroken. I'm not proud of that. But I'm much better now. Well, I'm sure you are. Way to make a good impression. Sorry. How about you, Julia? Um, I teach in a small charter school. I don't make much money, but I love what I do. I love the kids. Um, I was married once, we never had kids. I used to see these kids walk by in my old neighborhood. They'd come pet me over the fence, but my humans yelled at them for trampling the flowers, so they only came when no one was home. Oh, it sounds so lonely. My humans were pretty unhappy. I tried to make them happy, but I wasn't very good at it. Well, it doesn't sound like it was your fault. Well, I've been astray for a while now. You seem like a very sensitive person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try to be. <laughs> Sometimes I'm too sensitive for my own good. I could cry at night. But I have dreams. I have dreams of the future. What do you dream? Um, 
I had a dream of a small happy house on a hill <laughs> and, a, and a rising sun sparkles on the water of a lake below. I sit sipping tea. I have a beautiful garden and family and friends that I love nearby. Anyone special in your life? You can imagine a strong sentiment man, an artist or a sculptor. Um, I was thinking about a dog of some kind. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, of course there would be a dog. <laughs> In a world full of love and joy, there would have to be a dog. He'd be my protector. And he'd sniff out any danger and show his teeth and chase it away. <laughs> Down the dusty road and come back again. With his tail up high and his ears perked. <laughs> and his laughing face. <laughs> and he'd jump and he'd bark. <laughs> <laughs> and his tongue hanging out and he'd run together on his fields. Rolling in the grass. <laughs> and then he'd throw me a stick. And I'd leap in the air and catch it in my teeth. And you'd say, what a good boy, Sparky. Good dog. And I'd bring you the stick and drop it right away, of course. But just as you were reaching for it, I'd snatch it away and prance just out of reach. <laughs> uh, and I'd lunge to the car, trying to trick you. Uh, but you'd never succeed at. But eventually, I'd let you grab hold of the stick. It's just all slobbered by now. <laughs> but you wrestle over it anyway, and you end up hugging my neck. Oh, in your fur smells of sun and wind and freedom. And you smell of life and love and happiness. What a happy dream. Thank you for sharing it. It brings a joy to my heart that I've forgotten about. Dance with me, Julia. Take my paw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.